In this problem, we want to find the domain of this function. So I got f of x is equal to 5x minus 1 over x to the third plus 3x squared minus 25x minus 75. And by default, our domain is all real numbers except ones that cause a zero in a denominator or ones that cause a negative number inside of radical with an even index. So when you have a fraction, you set the denominator equal to zero and you solve it. Well, this one I'm going to use grouping. So I group the first two terms together, group the last two terms together. The first two terms have an x squared in common, GCF, so I'll factor that out. And that leaves us x plus 3. Second group has a both divisible by 25. My first term is negative, so I'll factor out a negative 25. And that gives us x plus 3. Now remember our goal with grouping is we want this parentheses the same as this, which it is. So I can factor out the x plus 3. And that leaves us x squared minus 25. Now the x squared minus 25 is dots, difference two squares. Two terms and minus two it x times x gives you x squared, 5 times 5 gives you 25. So this becomes x plus 3 times x plus 5 times x minus 5 equal to 0. Now zero factor property. If we get 0 on one side, you factor the other side, you set each factor equal to 0. So I'll set x plus 3 equal to 0, x plus 5 equal to 0, and x minus 5 equal to 0 and solve each one of these. Take 3 over, we get x equals negative 3. Take the 5 over, we get x is equal to negative 5. Take the negative 5 over, we get x is equal to positive 5. Now these are all the values we cannot have, so we'll put a slash through them. And those will be our answer. If you prefer to write an interval notation, we would go from negative infinity to our very smallest number, which is negative 5. Union, our very smallest number, to our next largest number, which is negative 3 union from negative 3 to our next largest number which is 5 and then union from 5 to positive infinity. And that's how you'd write an interval notation.